Hmm. You know what? Did you guys hear about that uh, one gentleman that kind of collapsed in court because of the situation with the basketball endeavor? Hmm. Hmm. When I first heard what went down from a friend, I kind of got the picture that maybe this basketball star had this girl that liked him and he was sitting up there and she was too mouthy or whatever. So he thought because he was a youngster and he didn't have the maturity to figure some other way of handling this, he's going to take her in her apartment and maybe take her keys and take her phone and take her belongings and just, you know, shake her and get her straight and tell her, you know, you got to get your act together and quit mouthing off and kidnapped her like, that. I saw the tape. I saw the tape. That's not how it went down. And at first, I really felt for this guy because I was thinking, you know what, he's a basketball player. You know, sometimes basketball players have a little thug in them and, and they make mistakes and things get out, been out of proportion. And he just kidnapped her. He just held her hostage. It was his woman. He was, he was trying to get her straight. He was trying to talk to her. Nope. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. What happened was he went total gangster thug on her. That's how I feel about it. He, he, with the cameras looking straight at him, went on her, started wailing on her a couple times. She's cowering in the corner like, I'm done. I'm through. You're the man. I'm a wimpy, wimpy woman. There's nothing I can do. I'm out. And he got her a couple times in the head, and she's on the ground, sitting in the corner like a cat cornered. Nothing she can do but take the beating. And evidently he did get her phone and evidently he did get her car keys or whatever the case may be. But this is happening where the cameras can see it. And he definitely lost, definitely lost control. And yeah, granted, a woman can push your buttons and blah, 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 blah. But hitting after OJ and all the other common sense situations, hitting is not allowed. Can't do that. Doesn't matter how much she pisses you off or annoys you or irritates you or gets under your skins or plays mind games. Whatever provoked that doesn't matter. Okay, you made a mistake, you lost your cool, you messed up. There might be some wiggle room maybe down the road. After the dust has settled and the two people have calmed down, they might build some fixing motion. No, what does he do after that? Huh. <laughs> He's got the audacity, the balls, the delusions of grandeur that now he can text her and say, you should have washed your mouth, you should have been cool, you better not say nothing stupid in the court, or whatever he said, some kind of intimidating text after the fact. I'm like, dude, dude, not only are you blowing it, but you're blowing it. And so he went from dumb to dumber as far as the whole situation is concerned. Well, to his surprise, after all the people came up and spoke, Spoke for him and saying he's a great basketball player. He'll get his act together. He'll be a good person five years from now. You're going to see a brand new person. This too will pass. You'll never see this bad side of him again. Blah, 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 blah. Translated, he's a star. Give him a break. He's allowed to break the rules. Give him a chance. He'll do better. Nope. This judge had sense. He said, you know what? I'm not buying it. If this guy wasn't a basketball star, there'd be nobody in this room right now pleading his case. But since he might help your school win some banners and some championships and maybe go to the NBA, you think he might be above the law. Wrong. No way. Not gonna happen. So anyways, um, she says you have this court uh, sentencing and this sentencing and this sentencing. Anyways, when he's putting them back to back, it looked like seven days, seven years. Brother man just... <sighs> Oh, my God, Jesus, collapsed. He, he was tripping, and I don't blame him. If I thought I was getting seven years, I'd be crying, and I'd probably collapse, too. He didn't faint, faint, but his knees definitely buckled. And so with that in mind, when she finished giving him his sentences and let him know they were congruent, comes out that there's not seven years, even though they were seven years if you added them up, but it came out since she's going back to back that it's three years. And after 180 days... He might be able to get out after good behavior, or because of good behavior, you know what I'm saying. After 180 days, he can get out on good behavior. Well, you would think, well, there's hope. 180 days, he still can get a championship. He'll still be good in basketball. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Colleges, scouts, potential NBA players. Yeah, we saw the, the Vic situation with the dogs, and that kind of was like a fluke, 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 that it worked out okay. This doesn't seem to be in the same vicinity. This looks like you're done, it's over, collapsed. You were 
one of the top 100 players in the nation as far as high school players are concerned, and you were second team all Ohio, which is very good as well, but that's just not going to get it in the long haul. So from what we can see, his basketball future is done. It's over. And kind of sad that he did collapse over a woman and, and, and make a mistake with a woman, and that provoked him and became his downfall. But that's kind of how it goes sometimes. Sometimes a woman can help you rise to the clouds and to the stars, and sometimes she can mess your life up. And granted, I'm not saying blame it on the woman. He made the decision. He was the one throwing the blows. He was the one picking on her in the corner. He was the one that lost his mental control. So don't get it twisted. I'm not saying if she hadn't been so honorary and so irritating, he wouldn't have had to go through that. No, he messed up. But I'm just saying there was a woman in the formula. There was a woman in the mix. And that did help him kind of drop the ball a little bit. Anyways, that's all I got to say about that. That guy from Ohio, um, something farmer, he messed up. That's his bad. You'll hear more about it when you check out the different tech stuff that I put on the bottom that has like the description of what the story is about. But anyways, that's all I got to say. Got to go. Talk to you later. Life's good. Bye-bye.